So what we're going to do now is take a look at the base vectors i, j and k. So if you were to draw i and j, so we're looking at them at an angle of course, so here's i and here's j. So the angle uh, from i to j is of course 90 degrees and so what you would expect then um, is because the area of the square that you get there, so 1 times 1, okay, as a square, um, that means that the uh, vector that is perpendicular to both of them, the, well, the vector product of i and j, has to be of length 1 also. And, of course, we know that to be k. So it makes sense, then, that we can say that i cross j is equal to k. Now to be clear, uh, here we've got the length of i, which is 1, the length of j, which is 1, um, times by sine of 90 degrees, which is 1, times by a normal ve a vector that is perpendicular to both i and j um, of length 1. And so that is k. So, um, it makes sense then that i cross j is equal to k. So on the left, sorry, the right hand rule, uh, if you've got i cross j is equal to k, right? So, likewise, we can then think, okay, well, if that's the case, what about j cross k? What happens if we do that? Well, uh, using the fact of the right hand rule, OK, you can follow this around. So I cross J is K. J cross K is I. So you keep on going round in that same anticlockwise motion. So effectively, what I'm saying is that if we now go from J to K, we get I. So if we go round once more, we can then say, OK, well, K cross i, if we now do k cross i, we should get j. Okay, so i, j, k, j, k, i, k, i, j. Okay, now what happens if we go the other way around, right? What if we've got j cross i? Now, j cross i is now looking at going, if we were measuring the angle right round, it would be 270 degrees, or minus 90, okay, because we could be going back on ourselves. So you can either think that it's 270 degrees round, uh, going anti-clockwise round, or 90 degrees clockwise, which would be a minus 90 degrees. So sine of minus 90, or sine of 270, is minus 1. So actually what we get is uh, minus k because of that sine of 270 degrees. So the consequence is that what we can see here is that the vector product is not commutative. Okay? The fact that i cross j is equal to k and j cross i is equal to minus k, then i cross j and j cross i are not the same thing. So we can say the vector product is not commutative, okay? And we can see it just from that one simple example. So on your right-hand rule, if we're going back round then, j cross i is k, then i cross k must be minus j. Did I say that right? My one? Uh, J cross I is minus K. So uh, I cross K is minus J. Okay? So effectively, we can reverse engineer each of these, right? So we can say uh, that K cross J, same reasoning, must be minus I. And I cross K must be minus J. Okay? So... This is how we work with uh, the uh, base vectors using the vector product, and you can see the properties that link them together.